hi guys in today's video i'm going to show with you how to do the interval training the version i'm using is instinct 2x solar but i think the user interface and the step may be the same with other garmin watch as well so the first step you're going to do is press the gps button then you select run you're gonna skip the today's suggestion dismiss so this is a pre-run screen instead of press into zps to start the run you are going to press the menu button on the right and you select the interval from here you can see that i already having the interval setting a five rep or laps at 400 meters and every one minute and 30 second rest between the laps if you want to update or change this interval setting, you can select the edit button. And from here, you can update the interval and the rest. You also select update the number of reps or laps. Turn on the warm up or off. Same with cool down, off or on. I'm gonna go step by step. So for the interval, when you select to update the interval, you can update the duration the default on my watch is 400 meter or 0.4 K. When you select this, you can increasing or decreasing the distance. You also can select the type of the interval. For example, right now, the type I select is distance. It means that every laps gonna be 400 meter. You can update the type to the time so instead of running 400 meters then stop you can select run say 45 seconds per lap instead of the instant so that is under the interval the next you can update is the rest the default right now is one minute and 30 seconds you can select the duration and update the time you can increasing the rest say to two minutes and 30 seconds or one minute something like that i select 130 as default so that's it you have update the interval you update the rest now you can change the repeat the default for me is 5x five time laps you can change it increasing to six decreasing to four three two you can select warm up on or off if warm up is on you have little time to warming up same with cool down when you finish the run you can have little time to cooling down before you completely finish the run i already run this morning so i can turn off as a warm up and cool down so that's it that is the edit for you to change the setting for the intervals now when you are ready to run then select do workout to start the interval today you're gonna select the zpi button to run so let's go run with me select the zpi button and run So I already run from that middle. Now it's the rest time. One minute thirty second. Rest time. When you are running close to the four hundred meter, the watch will notify you. Beep beep beep. So you know that the rest time is around the corner. One minute. You see that the timing here is a countdown for the rest time. Okay, so it's five second, three, two, one, run. Okay, two that. One minute, thirty second to rest. Already finished. Two laps, 800 meter. Final one. We are done. So I finished the runs. Uh, already synced up from my watch to the Garmin website. 
and now I'm going back to my computer and view that one resource on the website. You can see the website is connect.gammon.com and uh, here is my run today. The total distance is 2.55k. Total time is 30 minutes, including the interval running and the rest time, 1 minute 30 seconds per lap. Average pace, 527 per k. This is the average pace, including the running and the rest time. It's the total ascent and the calorie burns. And when you're scrolling down, you can see the watch I'm using. This is Instinct 2X Solar. And then the shoe I'm using is Nike Stick Fly. And scroll down more, you can see more charts and analysis about my interval run today, including the innovation, pace, heart rate, performance condition, the run cadence, the power watch, run walk analysis, and the statistic. It depends on the watch that you are wearing. You may missing some of the analysis like a run and walk or the performance condition. I using the Garmin watch before and uh, sometimes it's missing the performance condition and run walk. For today, we are focusing on the interval. There's a tab interval. You can click into interval. From here, you can see all the data from my running. The total laps is five. One, two, three, four, five. With the rest, one minute, 30 seconds in between. There's a drop down box for you to filter. For example, if you just want to see the run, you can select that option. It's showing up all the data for the run. Five laps only. Lap ones, I run 400 meter at pace 405. And then lap two, pace 402. The next laps, the pace is going better, 3.35 and 3.36. So the average pace for me is 3.54 for the total of 5 laps, 400 meters on each lap or reps. So that is the filter for the run, for you to quickly view the information, the data about the run. You also can see the rest time. Select the rest and then it's showing up. The resting time is 1 minute 30 seconds and I just walking during the rest time. So the average pace for me when I'm walking is 11.15. If you're having the warm up and the cool down setting up on the watch, it also showing up here as well. Um, I did not turn it on the warm up and the cool down so I have nothing here. When you're going back to all, you're going to show all the data about the running and the rest time. So the average pace now you can see it gonna be bumping up a little bit. For me is 527. If I only select run, my pace for this interval training is lower at 354. And when you're going back to the start, you can see uh, the information like training effect, running dynamics, the cadence, the heart rate. For me the average is 141 uh, with the maximum is 167. A lot more information on the overview start, but for the interval run, you just need to focus on the interval tab right here. So that is how you do the interval running with the watch Garmin Instinct 2X Solar. I show you how you do that running on the watch and then sync up the results with the Garmin Connect app so that you can see more charts and analysis on the website or on the mobile app. Thank you for the watching. Bye. Nếu các bạn thấy hay, các bạn hãy nhấn nút like, thích và subscribe, đăng ký để ủng hộ Easy Tech Class nha. Cảm ơn các bạn nhiều.